Hello, boys and girls, members of the vinyl community. All those who are out there not doing anything today so they decided to watch this video. I'm in the basement, La Casa del Perla. The queen is upstairs scrubbing carpets. And she said to me, if you want to go listen to some music, I don't really need you today. Here I am. So you're lucky enough to get me because the queen don't need me. So here I am. So I decided to do a video or enter another contest. And I just got done watching Greg's from Three Dimensions of Music. Did a real nice job. And good thing I did watch his because when I was planning to do this video, I was, well, I was thinking about doing it. And I, I don't know if I was smart enough to do acronyms. I have a tough time spelling my name. Uh, but I was going to use Swabbler by Cream. And he pointed me and he said, you know, Rick Strickler used a, a Cream song before and he was hoping it wasn't his. So I went and checked Rick Strickler's video because I didn't get a chance to see his yet. And good thing I did. I didn't want to infringe on his prowess of acronyms. And he was, he used Swabbler. I was going to use Swabbler, but that's okay. No, no big deal. No, no fuss, no muss, because I found a couple. So let, his contest is acronyms. An acronym, of course, is an abbreviation that manifests itself into language, into a word. Uh, a lot of people just use the abbreviation uh, DOA, dead on arrival, and that and that uh, Matt, way. Uh, so I, I had a rough time finding some, but I did find a couple. And he wants you to show three albums that have acronyms. A song gets an acronym, the album is an acronym, the artist is an acronym, whatever. So the first one I'm going to show you is from Ozzy Osbourne, Diary of a Madman. And this was, this was VCLT to me, by the way, Josh, JC from uh, Flipside Vinyl Community. And on here is a song called Sato, S-A-S-A-T-O. Now, I found a couple of things that that it might mean. Uh, Sato. Someone says surfing or, or sailing across the ocean. I found that a couple of places, but the one I think I like the best is it stands for Sharon Arden and Thelma Osborne. And that sound makes more sense to me. Aren't those the people in Ozzy's life? And it's on the back there. You know, you can you can see it there side two next to the last song so that's one the next one is a black sabbath off their volume four album if i have that right side up yeah volume four black sabbath and on the back i don't think well this is the back i'm sorry is it the third one third or fourth one it has fx and FX, the letters that manifest themselves into the word effects. Uh, when they were playing the song, it's a little short instrumental song. And uh, the story goes that when Tony Iommi, when they were recording it, his crucifix and, and his chain was banging against the guitar, making a weird sound during that uh, little short instrumental that that's why they call it the effects. Put a certain effect in that song. So... Volume 4, FX. See if you can hear Tony Iommi's chain. Now, the next one, the jury is out. Now, you can you can determine if this is a acronym or not. And I have to pull out Houses of the Holy, Led Zeppelin. There's a gatefold. Led Zeppelin. And there is a song on here. It's the second song on side two called Dear, Dear Maker. Dear Maker. Dire Maker. And the story goes, it may be true or not, I don't know. The story goes 
there was an old joke floating around where this Scottish guy was talking to a buddy of his. He says, oh, he says to his buddy, he says, oh, my wife went to the Caribbean. And the other guy says, Jamaica. And he said, no, she went on her own. That's my third one. That's all I got. You determine if that's one or not. I don't care. But hey, I think that's three. I'm going to turn these in, send it in. Hey, may your records be flat. May your stylus run true. whoop de doo for your Subaru. And uh, God bless you. See you. Bye-bye.